Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this is an IFAM M2. Uh, here is the key. It's got quite a nice bitting on it actually, if you look. It's got um, some real, uh, or like zero lifts, and then some really low set pins, especially pin number uh, one and three, with these almost virtually zero lift pins in positions two and four. Um, yeah, just a really nice bitting. And it works very smoothly. I've taken the circlips off because um, I hope to gut it in a minute and uh, they will just get in the way. Nevertheless, um, a really, really super cool lock. And I have to say, mm, probably quite as good as the uh, ISEO R6 dimple lock for something to practice. Now, this is an interesting lock. This was actually sent to me a long time ago by Potty314, who um, is one of my most early influences as a lock picker. And uh, although I think Potty sometimes uh, posts on his YouTube channel, it's extremely infrequently, and I actually miss his content a heck of a lot. He taught me so much when I first started picking, and I owe a lot of uh, uh, what I do to him, I think, in, in like uh, we all do. So uh, yeah, anyway. It does have a M on one side. And I think I remember him saying in an email to me when he sent this that possibly one side is standard and one side is modified. So it might be like a standard side and a challenge side. I don't know for sure, but the best way to uh, know is to give it a go and pick it. So let's throw some advice and um, start picking. We'll pick one side and gut it and then uh, we'll pick the other side and gut it. So we're in the vice. Let me just grab that lovely key check nothing is going to mm, it is going to catch up on the vice always good to check especially before you start filming so just move those in ah oh, that's nice and free now we're going to put a tension tool in quite a thick one and just use a flat flag this is um, a slightly modified one from the honest dong shi set and yep make sure that's in the vice nice and tight there we go and go with pin one, just rotate down, nothing on one, nothing on two. Uh, a little bit of something on three, nothing on four. Five's binding, just release some of that tension, gets above it. And six now binding, release a little bit of tension and turn it there, nice click. Now I can feel that I'm on pin one into a false set. Go back through, so nothing on one, nothing on two. Nothing on three, nothing on four, five, six. So it could be that I've slightly overset a pin, so that's okay. We're just going to have a jiggle at the front and let's go through again, two. Check three is fully set, no, four. A little movement on four this time. Five and six, so I think we just need to gently tap on top of the pins until we get an open. Just check my uh, tension tool isn't holding us back either. I think one, two, three, four, five. Uh, ah, just tapping five and we've got an open. There, all good. Right, let's uh, turn it round and go to the side which has an M on it. Make sure that it's not going to get trapped. Want to turn it? Okay, good. Should be okay. And good. Um, I might actually have to lock that other side back up thinking about it. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have a go. If it, if it opens, it opens, right? And we'll always lock it back up and then use the key to gut it. A bit more tightness. There we go. We'll put quite firm tension on these things. So. Let's go, one, two, look, look on two, more, mm. okay, that's good, uh, f nothing, four, five, a little movement there, six, back through, one, two, nothing, three, click, four, five's now binding heavily and just moved, uh, that's actually pin six, sorry, it wasn't five, then one, nothing, two, nothing, three, nothing, Four, nothing, five, and six. 
I think I had some cancer rotation on six. Let me just go back through two. Ah, oh, that's it. Two. And oh, we're open. So two just needs to be set. So that's both sides now picked. Whether one was modified or not, I just don't know. Um, but we should be able to use a front loader and gut this lock. So I just need to turn it round to, I haven't done one of these in ages, a, a dimple lock. So it needs to turn this all the way around. So we're there like that. Get a front follower and one of these. Hopefully this will work and we'll have a gut. So this is the non-modified side. I'm assuming it is actually modified, uh, not just a, an M for uh, potty. So uh, let's see if we can get that out. Come here you. How do I get you out? Maybe with a hook. There we go. I think. Yes. Very thin little pins, these. One, two, oh, and three, uh, four, come on, five, that was five, and six. All standard pins, these ones. go. So I think that is the wrong way round. That one's there, that one's there because it's short. So you have to push it up further. Uh, and then that's long yet yeah, that's right. So they're all just standard pins. Now let's get my front floor in and get these. Grab my tweezers again, which I have put down and therefore means I can't ever find them again. Ooh, a, oh, I'll just, uh, I think a spring's just, or another pin's just jumped out. No, oh, something, something's leapt off. I don't know what. So, ooh. We'll come and have a look at that pin in a minute. So it's all standards apart from that one. Might tip those springs out as well. Wow, they are long. i put them over here, actually. Really long springs. Wow. They're, I mean, oh, ah, another pin's come out. It's like a... Well, Okay, made a bit of a hash of those last pins, I'll be honest. But they're all here. So I think they were that way round, but I could be wrong. We'll check in a second. Try and get the springs out. The super long springs. Really cool. There we go. And do you know what? That's everything from there. So this is side one. Let's have a quick peek. And we have all steel key pins and pin one of the driver pins is standard and steel. I assume that this is an anti uh, drill um, thing. Let me move that around, good. So you can see that steel. Then we've got a standard pin then it looks like, ah, oh, that explains why I had to tap the pin to open it up a bit further. These are like little T-pins. Can you see that? So they, they set and then, uh, like a standard pin, then they hang up in the core. So that's kind of cool. And then i um, got another one of those there. That is a T-pin. That's the wrong way round because that was five. So yeah, the T-pin and then standard and six. So very cool. So it goes... Um, yeah, standard, standard, T-pin, 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 standard. 
Awesome. That's the wrong way around. Right, now let's see the other side and see if it is actually modified or we just picked the same lock twice. Um, we'll soon find out, won't we? So, go all the way around. We'll try and get this quickly. I'll try and do it a bit more controlled this time. Take that cam out before it drops out. Here we go. So these look exactly the same key pins. Being somebody who prefers a standard um, set of pins to a challenge lock, purely because um, I like to know I'm up against the manufacturer. Uh, just a personal preference. Uh, I picked some fantastic challenge locks as well. Uh, sort of hoping that this is all st like st the standard pinning, but it did pick a little bit different, which is not unusual. So the chances are it could be, could be modified. We won't know till we know. So let's have a go. Pop this in, and we'll go around this way again, starting on pin one. So take that out. We'll try to do this in a slightly more controlled way. So it looks like everything that that pin is actually a uh, oh, so that, that's a T pin. That one's standard. So maybe it's modified, as in it's um, the pin positions have been swapped around. In which case, I'll probably put them back the way they were. Uh, uh, then T-pin. More springy bits. Springs haven't been modded. Then standard. Then T-pin. Then that was the last one, which is standard. Uh, and some springs to come out. Come out, you. Not to wreck these springs, they're quite nice little springs. Yeah. So, um. Oh, it has been modified slightly. We have a spool pin in one of the positions. So it goes T pin, standard spool, standard T pin, serrated pin. So it was modified, but not in a way that is significant, I'd say. So there you go. That was a um, an IFAM M2 uh, with a one side standard, one side modified. Uh, kind of a nice bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did like this, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel out. If you have a comment, leave one below. I read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. And of course, I'll see you all next time. Now I've got to figure out what on earth jumped off my uh, desk and uh, yeah, hopefully it wasn't uh, like a load of pins or anything. All right, see you later.